So many problems. You wanna feel so much pain. You, you. I don't hit. I don't hit like Triple G. I don't hit. I don't hit like Kirkland. You will see. You will see. You will see. All you. All you. All you. Then you think you are. Man, y'all too busy, you know. Y'all y'all been in the mix, like just, you know, real life social. I've been seeing the Twitter and all that. Like, I can go out, I can go out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he gonna see this, he gonna see this. Yeah. Like, he just, he know, he know what's up. He was cordial, we was like cool, you know. Richie, we got the five, and then, you know, he comes over here, he wanna act khaki, like now he wanna show up. He's from New York. I'm from New York, but I'm from the street. I grew up thinking he's the shit, you're fucking, bro. Canelo, we're gonna knock you out. Come in the first round and trying to fight us. Don't run like you be doing, running around. Fight, come for the first round and fight us. Canelo, you're getting knocked out. And then we're gonna pull you like this to suck after we fucking knock you the fuck out. How do you feel when people say that the stage might be too big or lights might be too bright for him? This kid right here is built. You watch September 14th. That's gonna be banging. This kid's built for that. The music, the people, the light. I mean, his, 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 that's when he's at his best. I get it. I look at the little comments. My little brother Edgar Balan got fighting for a championship. This guy is 22 and no, and he got a chance at the champ, and his own people are in there talking about Puerto Ricans for Canelo. This, this says a lot about you guys. Says a lot about you guys, man. Everybody that beat him, they don't want a job. Convincingly, you don't want a job. Huh? And this one. Bands so keep it chin tuck. It's the one and only ghost with the shadow in the front. And I am excited for tomorrow's fight, man. I really am. Not because of like, uh, it's like one of the best fights in the past decade or anything like that, but because I'm doing something that I've never done before. And that is I am putting my channel up. If this by possibility Berlanga wins tomorrow, I will be no more. I will be shutting my channel down. Why did I do that? Why did I make this bet with myself? I don't know. I just wanted to get hyped for the fight because I was not hyped for this fight. And now I am for that very reason. And not only that, aside from that, one of the things that I, th there's a group of people out there that believe that if Berlanga, first off, there's a group of people out there that do believe Berlanga is going to pull it off tomorrow. And then, you know, most people are saying, you know, if it was to happen, this would be up there with the upset of like Mike Tyson and Buster Douglas. I believe it's more than that based on the circumstances. I do believe that Canelo has the best chin in boxing. Uh, he's 34 years old, but he's an old 34. He's got a lot in the engine, but that in return, you get experience and ring IQ and he's got over 60 something fights. You divide that by three. That's enough for three fighters to have a career by this generation standards with the way how frequently fighters fight uh but aside from the skills and everything like that you know we all know canelo got the high guard good chin good counter puncher good body puncher i do think he still carries power at 168 uh but berlanga on the other hand he has the size he has the youth he cast the power apparently but we still don't even know that until tomorrow but you know this is nothing new for canelo as far as the advantages go he's always the smaller man in order for Berlanga to win, he's going to have to take it to Canelo. Now, what happens if Canelo's hitting Berlanga and Berlanga is taking the punch as well? Then it's going to come down to, is Canelo going to get tired in the second half of the fight? But see, I still believe that, you know, Canelo's going to stop this man with a body shot. Or he's going to catch him with a counter while Berlanga is throwing punches. He's going to time this guy. Berlanga is not, to me, he can't outbox Canelo. I just don't think he has the experience, the ring IQ, and I really don't even think he has the skills to outbox Canelo yet. In this point in his career, I still think he's green. But this is a good rivalry, Puerto Rico and Mexico, and uh, we'll see what happens. And tomorrow, uh, you know, I will be going live because uh, who knows, it could be my last time. And for those that watch me, the little group that do, I salute y'all and tune in with me because it could be my last time. Man, if Berlanga wins, though, I'm telling you right now, this this is going to go down in history because he's got to win by knockout, bro. He's not he's not going to win by decision. Not in my, unless he knocks him down multiple times. Bro, in boxing, anything can happen. Anything can happen. 
and that's why this makes it this makes it exciting oh real quick as far as the uh laura and danny garcia card goes to me the styles they're both counter punchers and a lot of times that could be a, a boring fight because you got they're waiting to counter each other you got one counter puncher waiting for you to do something the other one's waiting for you to do something and they both just that's why styles make fights and we'll have to see how that fight plays out i could see laura winning and them setting up a canelo rematch down the line uh with laura moving up to 168 who knows i could see that happening caleb plant and trevor mccumby i know a lot of people are like who is this guy mccumby you know the guy that looks like dr disrespect you know a lot of people you go on youtube and you can't find too many fights with this guy and uh you know but he has a good amateur background and he does hit hard and caleb plant is known for fading in the later half of the fight I know he says it's his best training camp, but let's face it, you know, at the end of the day, Kayla, uh, when he fought Canelo and David Benavidez, which was his two biggest fights, he said those were his best training camps too, and he faded in those fights. So if McCombie is able to withstand his onslaught of offense, Kayla Plants, uh, he might be able to tire him out, and who knows, and he hits hard, so anything can happen in boxing, that's why Styles do make fights. Oh, as far as Roley goes, Roley is humble now. Roley done got beat to the point, he got beat senseless to the point where he's humble now. And I don't know the guy he's facing too well, but this is supposedly supposedly be a bounce back fight for Roley. But when it comes to Roley Romero, you never know what's going to happen in that ring. But I will be going live tomorrow because of the circumstances. And if you're the small people that do watch me, tune in with me because you never know. Tomorrow night might be the last night. So Canelo and Berlanga, tomorrow, Saturday night at the MGN Grand in Las Vegas, T-Mobile Arena, I believe it is. And this is Ghost. See you tomorrow. I'm out.